I've got a crocodile here that someone made for me. Now this crocodile is very, very greedy. He likes to eat the biggest numbers because he just wants all of the things for himself. He wants the most for himself. He doesn't want to have only a little bit. So he always eats the big numbers. Now, I want someone to come and be this crocodile. The first activity is a crocodile sums. And with a crocodile sums, there's actually a lovely story that goes with a greedy crocodile. And you are going to be this greedy crocodile. The story of the greedy crocodile goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a greedy crocodile in a lake. The greedy crocodile only ate numbers. And he always just end up eating the numbers that's the biggest or the greatest. He doesn't care about the little small numbers because he wants as much numbers as possible. Spin, 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 stop. Are you dizzy? Okay. Crocodile, crocodile, what number would you eat? The biggest one, the greatest one, and it will be safe. Yay, well done. This is a very good opportunity for learners that's more energetic to take part in this game because they can't sit still for long periods of time. So this enables them not only to understand a concept but also have a game change of environment. So here's your crocodile. With this one, you'll need your whiteboard, your whiteboard pen and you'll need a friend. Okay. You're going to write two numbers on your whiteboard and your friend needs to decide which number is the greater number. Do you all understand this game? All right. So we're going to give this group. The one learner writes two numbers on the whiteboard and the other learner needs to decide what number is greater and what is less than. Two. The crocodile resembles the greater than and less than symbol. This is a very good way to get them used to the symbols and make them more confident later on when they have to use it more abstract. This lesson enables learners to not only learn different mathematical concepts and skills, but it also helps them to work independently, to work in groups, and also to have fun while doing something that's actually very important in our everyday life.